In this generation, almost everything revolves around social media. Those platforms create a face for individuals, groups, companies, and businesses of all sizes. In the world of college, aside from social media, there is one thing that large populations of students spend time and money on, alcohol. This study has brought together the two themes to study those brands and how their social media uses correlate to their annual sales. The social media use focused on the three areas, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We measured the usage of these social media outlets by looking at the amount of Facebook likes, Twitter followers, and YouTube subscribers for each of the company's sites. Research was done to choose companies that are top-selling brands to smaller independent brands. These hypotheses revolve around the annual sales of the 15 companies chosen. The annual sales of the companies varied from 47 million to nearly 6 billion. The coded variables used in the project were number of likes on Facebook, number of Twitter followers, number of YouTube subscribers, and annual sales. The coding reliability consisted of six student coders, four female, and two male. It was found that there was no specific relation between the annual sales of a company and the type of social media used. It was expected that maybe the largest companies would always utilize all three forms of media analyzed, but that was not always the case. From those observations, no real correlation between social media use and the size of company was found. The standard deviations varied quite a bit, proving that the different forms of social media were used in different ways and ranged in the numbers of followers, subscribers, and likes, even within their own dimensions. Twitter had a standard deviation of 26,434 and a significance level of less than 0 .0001. Twitter was in between as it fell at a standard deviation modeled after its closer to average dispersion. Facebook, at the other end of the spectrum, had much greater dispersion between the number of likes on different pages with a standard deviation of 2,855,777 because their overall likes were much higher. Facebook's significance level was 0 .0076. YouTube's standard deviation was 7,178 with a significance level at 0 .1329. YouTube had lower number of followers overall compared to other sites, resulting in a much smaller dispersion. As the annual sales recorded decreased, the Twitter following increased, meaning that overall the smaller brands had more of a face on Twitter than some of the largest companies. This proves that the correlation in this data is not due to random sampling. The number of Facebook likes on the 15 respective pages increased as the annual sales numbers increased proving that the larger companies had a larger following on Facebook. With this being said, we can reject the null hypothesis. As for the YouTube subscribers, the data showed that as YouTube subscribers decreased, annual sales did too. With these results, we conclude overall that a beer brand's popularity on Facebook may be more influential to its annual sales than its popularity on Twitter and YouTube. Social media use is on the rise in general. As observed in the research, the amount of Facebook likes, Twitter followers, and YouTube views seem to consistently rise in general. This could be because of several different factors and might not necessarily indicate that the beer brand's popularity is on the rise, but could simply be a product of social media use. Furthermore, because of this confliction, it is unsure whether or not the data recorded from the social media websites has anything to do with the annual sale of the beer companies. With such a small sample size of only a month of data collection, any random variables that could have influenced our data. Perhaps the time of year played a part in determining how many people participated or joined in the event of social media use. Also, the time of year could have affected how many people thought to pay particular attention to a certain beer company or even, to, or even think to engage in beer companies, social media advertising campaigns. Additionally, how are we to know that the month of the year in which we collected data properly represents the social media use of every month of the year? All these factors lead to inconclusive results. If we were to do this experiment again, we would pay more attention to the time of year we collected data and create a composite week from each month of the year. We would also make sure that every beer brand that data was collected from had an official site, had official sites on all three social media outlets.